Second-generation antipsychotics are also known as Option A, atypical antipsychotics B, typical antipsychotics C, novel antipsychotics D, both A and C E, both B and C Antipsychotics are classified into atypical antipsychotics and typical antipsychotics. Typical antipsychotics are dopamine receptor antagonists and are known as first-generation antipsychotics. They include trifluoperazine, perfenazine, prochlorperazine, acetophenazine, trifluopramazine, mesoridazine, haloperidol, thiothixine, chlorprothixine, loxapin, molindone, and pimazide. On the other hand, atypical antipsychotics are serotonin dopamine antagonists and are also known as second-generation antipsychotics. The FDA has approved 12 atypical antipsychotics including risperidone, olanzapine, quetiapine, zepracidone, aripiprazole, paliperidone, acenapine, luracidone, iloperidone, cariprazine, brixpiprazole, and clozapine. First-generation antipsychotics are associated with significant extrapyramidal side effects. But second-generation antipsychotics have fewer side effects when compared with first-generation antipsychotics. But they are known to cause more withdrawal symptoms and metabolic side effects such as diabetes and weight gain. So, the answer is option D. If you find this video helpful, share it and subscribe to MedBook for more CAPS questions. Thanks for watching.